Hey, hello, welcome back. So today, what are we going to do? We're going to install this dash cam, which is a, a Viofo A129 Pro, which means it's got the uh, front and back or rear camera. Uh, and in order to install that on uh, the Polestar 2 with the fuse box, the hardwire kit with the micro, micro USB, which will go in the camera. Here we have the voltage cutoff uh, so that it can turn off if the battery voltage goes down. And here we have the three cables. So the red one will go on the uh, permanent um, voltage, 12 volt. So that's, that will be here. Uh, on fuse 31, which is the OBD2 port. Uh, here we have this one called ACC, which is basically switched, which should give um, have voltage only if uh, the car is turned on. And this one will go to fuse 84, wireless charging pad. And here, this one will go to ground. So we will connect it uh, to some metallic bits on the car. I bought a couple of uh, out of circuit fuse adapters uh, and let's see how we get to install that. So let's go. So one of the first things we'll do is we'll figure out where to plug in the cable. So we're going to look at the place where the fuses are, which is right here so we're going to take all this out and first do a connection just putting the cables on uh, the camera and the fuse to see if it works it's also getting a little bit late here so getting started it's around 9 9 p.m maybe not the best time to start on the project we'll probably continue tomorrow as well it's time to figure out where to place it I was thinking from the driver's side, I want to obstruct it as little as possible. So I'm going to move it on the side of the passenger. And I was thinking about putting it somewhere here. So we're going to do a couple of tests uh, placing. We also need a little bit of space for the cables. Knowing there's one, the power cable, I'll use it here on the uh, GPS module. Uh, the GPS module has also an entrance. You can use either that or the actual uh, power here, USB. Uh, but then when you plug the real rear cable, they kind of like mess together. So I'm going to put the power cable on top on the GPS module and the rear, well, obviously in the rear connector. So that's more or less what uh, I'm going to place it. The camera comes with this uh, sheet here. It says electrostatic sticker going to place that underneath and then place the camera on top of it. We will also do a little bit of cleaning with this uh, Polestar branded uh, cloth just to make sure that you know there's nothing here underneath that would uh, prevent good adherence and we'll put this electrostatic film off camera. In order to get to the fuse box, which you can see here, the black, black box, I did remove this here plastic protection, which comes here on top. It looks complicated, but it's basically a couple of uh, clips. Um, so I'll just take it out, and here you get to the fuse box. And to open it, you need to go here to this little black uh, thing on top. And so now it's open, it's a question of moving it up, which is a bit difficult to do with one hand. Indeed, with two hands it was a bit easier. So here you have the open fuse box. Here is a uh, bit of foam, isolation foam, uh, which we're also going to get out. Uh, and this is also just a couple of clips. The idea being that, uh, you see here it's already loose, so I'll take it out my, with my two hands. Um, the idea is behind this we have uh, ground so that we can securely connect this. I've removed the foam which was here. So for the circuits we will go for permanent permanent 12 volt we will go with this red one which is 31st on a 10 amp and then for 84 this is 80, 81, 82, 83 is the red one, 84 is the next one 
either the two-link will go. And for ground, we will probably use this bolt here. I've removed, using this little tool, number 31st. You could also use the yellow tool here. So I've removed this and now I'm going to place it here in the other circuit. You must go here on the one that's uh, closest to the connectors. And here we'll add a new fuse that will go on this cable. Here you see the two, f two fuses. I decided to put a second one of 10. Just put it back on there. Back inside, so as you can see from the side, there are the two fuses and the cable. Here we go. So I'll do a quick test with the multimeter. Excuse the loud beeping noise, which is annoying. I think my battery is low. So I connected here one inside and I will touch here the ground. And as you see, we're at 12.83 volts. So indeed, this is a live, uh, always on 12 volt. And as you can see, well, you maybe can't see, but the car is turned off, the lights I've turned off. So it really is always on this one. And here we go on with the second one. So I've removed 84. I've put the original five, which is on top, and another one, slightly different color, but it's both on five amps. And I'll connect it back. Here it is. So we're going to test this. There should be nothing coming out. Let's see. Again, sorry for the beeping sound. and touch the ground. Indeed, nothing. So I'll just turn on the car. Well, actually, I just opened the passenger door. The lights went on. And if I go and test it out now, and I touch correctly, at 12 volts, 12, 41, 42 voltage. So just turning the door on will actually remove parking mode. Interesting. I will unmount this plastic element here in order to unscrew the bolt. There we go. And we can unscrew it. Actually, I just unscrewed it entirely. Makes it easier for access. The screw back on. Last check. Yep, so we're going to put this little black thing, uh, plastic thing, back on top and we will be done with this grounding. There it is, all nice and sweet. Now let's move on to the other cables. Remove the plastic bit uh, and was able to squeeze in a little bit better but I'm still not that happy with, it just moves a little bit. So yeah, here it is, it's out. So what I'll do is I'll just cut a, cut a bit more. I will double the metal bits and reopen this. Now we have double the metal. I'll just squeeze it in here like this, up, and just back out the other way so it will squeeze. And I'll squeeze it actually off camera. And we can just pass the little protective plastic back on top of it. And now we can connect it back to number 31. And we'll do the same one with number 84. Squeeze it back out. And do the same thing with, in this case, the yellow cable, the ACC. Okay, so now it's fully connected. Yellow cable on 80. Four, red cable on what was it 31 and the black cable here to ground so let's see what happens if we connect it to the dash cam let's see if it works as i hope it does uh, so this is connected to the battery as we just saw we've got here the break off voltage it's set to what is it 11.8 Oh, let's put it third to last, the one to last, 12.2. Okay, let's see. Here we've got the uh, connection for the camera. I'll connect it. You say you can either connect it to the GPS module or here. 
then it's a little bit difficult for the two cables so i'll put it on the gps module and let's see what happens oh the light turns on oh. yes it turns on great it says please enter tf car and if i let's see there's a little thing here if i remove it oh it's working okay so let's see if the back camera works so let's plug in let's say this one here to rear okay rear and i'll plug this one here like this so it's got a little plastic protection on oh, no, the way around sorry Do -do -do. what's happening oh it turns black here if i remove hey it's working hello 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 let's see here you can see it my finger in the small one and here on the big one so it's working we connected it you see the final cable layout i'm going the bottom of the box getting close out of this area there and i'll just Put the lid back on. And the top one. Yep. So here it's getting out without getting too much of a squeeze. A little bit. Not too bad. Okay. And now we can put the foam back on. Finding the right way to turn it around without breaking anything. That way the cables are kind of out of the way. And let's see. Intent number two or three, I don't know. Yes, this. By the way, it's interesting to see all the mentions of Volvo. Here's here's one, Volvo. Is that there? Okay, here. And this is annoying, <laughs> but let's keep smiling. Man, this is not the most fun part of the job, I can tell you. Okay, little breakout. Time out. I was able to squeeze it back in, and now it's a question of pressing those touches and we're good yes it's solid so we've got our three cables coming up here we can bring everything down now again three cables coming up and leave it out for now great haha <laughs> well that little foam thing that was annoying maybe for ground Next time I can take directly here instead of having to take this out. But there we go. I can put this back all the way here. I'll nicely tuck it in underneath this bit here. This one as well. OK, 
Okay, it's all squeezed in without coming out here. And tomorrow we'll work on this bit. And I so the plastic cache is back and everything is ready with just basically this little cable here popping out. Actually, I'll just leave it in, but there's the USB part. So I'll leave it tucked in for now. And tomorrow we can continue. Well, that was quite interesting. I disliked the little phone thing here. Not nice. <laughs> but um, we got it done. So this feels enough for tonight. Uh, there's basically no more light outside. Um, makes for an interesting recording setup, I would say. But anyway, I'm going to uh, clean this up here. Uh, while I was trying to place the camera, I didn't get any power anymore on the cable. And this here, which you see there's a little red light, didn't give any light anymore. So I reopened the uh, fuse box. Nothing seemed weird. I took the, uh, what is it, this one here, the 31 out tested it and saw that while well, the fuses are good I just put it back in and then the light came back on which uh, has me a little bit mm, suspect you know what why did it why didn't it give any power anymore I tried just moving the car a little bit try to see if that would wake it up or so I played a little bit with the uh, levels here that didn't change anything uh, which I would not have expected but so it wasn't giving this this red light here now it does Let's hope it's not going to be every day that I need to open this box here. <laughs> okay, now let's try to figure out when we place it. The lens towards the front. Yeah, we don't see the side. The cable seems like we'll be able to pass it on nicely, not too high. Let's see if we can still like remove the cable once it's there. Or no, could be helpful. Okay, so maybe with this first line there, maybe that's that's this line we're we're going to line on. Let's see how this looks like from the passenger view. Yeah, it still leaves quite some quite some space. Okay, let's fix it there. I did cut it so that it's a bit smaller. It's about half of the size. I'm going to remove the second film on top of it. Okay, and now it is ready to place the camera on it. And here we have it, camera mounted. This is the view from the passenger side. And let's have a view for the driver's side. Now you can barely see it there. So it's it's really not, it's not blocking view or anything. You have a good view of all the way to the side, I mean, just as when you're driving regularly without the camera. So that was my main goal, so that doesn't uh, cause any trouble with visibility on the driver's side. Great, happy with the results. Let's go on now with cabling. We're going to pass the cable here all the way on this area here. And then we'll go to the side, uh, like this, and pass here on the outside to make sure we have no trouble with um, with the airbags, right? So don't want to touch that area. Pass it here all the way down, down to there. Um, and we'll try to pass both the front and the back cable at the same time. Here we have both cables mounted, so the power, as I mentioned, the power cable on the GPS unit and the front to rear on the side. So here by just popping up a little bit. You see, up, here it is. Don't need it too much. I'll just slide it in here. Actually, I'm probably going to try to put this big big piece under the plastic one to 
probably makes more sense than the, the linen here. So let's see. Actually, let's try to see what we have here. Yeah, there's a, quite a bit of space. Okay. Yes, great. Looks good. this cable here this goes quite easily just push it yeah, you have to be quite careful because this you know you don't want to dent it so here we are I can clip this back up. So yeah, it is mounted. Here it is. From up close. Let's see. So yeah, and it goes up. I'll remove this little piece later on, but that's how it looks from afar. And on the side. So now I'm going to work on passing it here from the side to here. The area around the bend is a little bit more complex. So what I did is I actually restarted putting it from here and then I'm slowly going back up. And here it's a little bit tight. I don't want to force it too much. And then we'll continue to go down on this side here. And done. This one, this area is quite simple. It's just like squeezing the cable in and obviously one-handed it's a bit more difficult but it's quite easy and here you just go with the second cable yeah left-handed one hand it's not easy I find it interesting to or important i would say to find the right the positive side of everything so a bit earlier i was complaining that you know oh this had disconnected there was no light and that i had to remove this but actually it's now making the cabling job easier so i've i've passed here through all, all this this space here and now it's actually getting easy for example the rear cable i can just very easily just like put it here and i'll put the plastic thing on and that actually makes me think that for the rear side the rear door I'm probably just going to try to pop this one here out and then try to get the cable as you know going from from the inside there um, <clears throat> it's actually going to make it simple and because this one doesn't leave, seem too complex it's basically just you know opening here and oh, I can't really see it here but yeah you can just pass it behind this so if I can get it here, that saves me quite some quite some trouble with this inside piece here. So yeah, I guess you could say the little life lesson, I don't know, philosophy. But yeah, try to find the good in all the bad that happens to you. That was quite easy, easier at least indeed. So I just um, took the, like, or squeezed the cable here, just like bloop, 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 bloop all the way and then in the back let's see i popped this side let's see here up and there and just in there there was the cable so i could just like get it out and now i'm just going to get it all all out the more i can until everything is fine and then we'll just continue putting it back up until we get in the back and we'll have to do some funky things with you know the opening but that's the next step this piece here is like feels like the easiest just like using the the tool to just like push a little bit 
and then you just go forward so I just put it under the how do you call that the uh, rubber and then it's like slowly lifting it up and you just go up and up so that's like the easiest part I feel of this whole project actually going to uh, have the cables come out of here pass into this uh, plastic thing and go inside so I remove the panel here so that the cable is nicely tucked into there um, so I took a basically a cloth hanger and I managed to like pry a little bit here pass it on and actually it was at the first intent which I had not expected I'll have to take care and make sure that there's no problem here with the airbag and passing it on on top the idea is put the uh, the cable attach it to the plastic bit and then pull it all the way out of here i've attached the uh, cable here with a little it's on the on the metal cable and i'm just going to uh, put it all the way there and pull on this one so the cable is going to disappear there and by pulling Pulling the cable, here it is. We got it out, and so it's still a little piece here. I'm going to pull the right one, have it disappear in there, and pull. Now that the cable is coming out, we're going to pass this bit here all the way and get it out here and then it will come all the way so that we can connect it where we want to connect it cable is out uh, and now we're just going to pass it in here all the way to pick it up on the other side if you take this one out you can very or much more easily put the this um, the black one on the white and then the white back into the car with regards to the placement of the rear cam so I, I thought a couple of options uh, here to prevent or to not touch like the the heating sides but actually I think I'm going to put it here in the center um, because of this like round part on top it's actually not really visible from uh, the rear view mirror just a little bit I think but almost not and uh, it's plastic it doesn't touch the the heating uh, bit so I'm going to place it here in the middle and just lightly do a couple of tests with the cable on and the hatch closed and we'll see what that gives us uh, let's go and see inside how it looks like so when I put myself here well you see the car in, in the back I can't really even find a way to mask it to not see the car because of the because of the dash cam you see it on here there it's really not it's not blocking uh, all this this view field and it's just a little bit on top but with the example of the car in the back I mean even if I, if I go up my eyes go out of the mirror view itself and not so that's I'm quite glad so obviously here with the dangling cable you see it but we're going to tuck that in and make it all nice cable tucked in so it actually comes from here I made it go a little bit further and then loop back and come out of here now we're going to place the uh, cash back so that's just here and then two bits uh, again i need my two hands to do that and the end result so now everything is tightened back up cable comes out of here and in the front this is how it looks like still need to take this little thing down here off but so for the passenger view it's more or less let's say like this so this is this is what you see so yes indeed you see it but the same way you have your rear view mirror that blocks all of that and if we go to the passenger side uh, sorry the driver's side the view is more or less like this so let me actually sit down 
I put it on my eye level and you just you're not blocked at all because it's here in the back so yes there's a little bit of piece here so I don't know if there's a plane or something but uh you've got all this view here that's fine and here as well so it's looking great I'm happy with the end results